Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the best settings for Folium on your iOS device, iPhone or iPad. So this is the 3DS emulator. So to get the best settings for the best performance, open up the application and you want to click the three dots right here. We go to core and you want to do CPU clock as 100%. You can, you know, tweak this around. Sometimes lowering it can help as well. So it's one of those things that's like game dependent. Use new 3DS, select this to off. So what, obviously what this would do is emulate the new 3DS. It was literally called new 3DS, but that was a more powerful 3DS. Therefore, it's more taxing on the iPhone or your iPad. So turning it off gives a bit of a boost. Use LLE applets and modules, which is low level emulation that can help improve the performance as well so if you do them the other thing i want to mention is i've already set my settings to the correct settings and the reason is it basically just resets your app every single time you do it when i say reset it just closes it down so if i do use new 3ds we don't want that but i'm just showing you a lot of these settings when you set them you will have to just reopen it every again and again and again so i've reset them so so you know i'm not constantly reopening it but i'll explain everything region set that to auto in renderer we've got a lot more settings here we've got shaders you want the spi of the shader compilation to be on and this allows you to generate shaders in spir V, which can improve performance and compatibility as well. The async shader compilation, you also want that on as well. And what this means is the shaders are compiled asynchronously, essentially in the background. It reduces the likelihood of stutters during gameplay as shaders are being you know, generated. Because again, the purpose of what we're doing here is to get the best performance out of this emulator using hardware shaders we want that set to on and this allows us to use the actual device in gpu uh, to process the shaders improving performance instead of using the cpu to basically just you know, you know render it in software and you know processing software next accurate shader mul we want that set to off that's usually a more accurate way of doing shader multiplication but turning it off will improve performance the, the, these are these settings that as the performance gets better especially with updates uh, uh you know and maybe with a new iphone new ipad you know folium getting better some of these we can actually potentially turn back on and i'll do updated videos you know as that occurs but for now these are the best settings using shaded you know jit just in time compilation ideally you want this on but the problem is you can't have just-in-time compilation for applications in general on the iPhone if they are submitted through the App Store. Apple just doesn't allow it, so just turn this off for now. That might change. If that changes, you know, I'll let you know. I'll create a video. Let me reopen it. So, renderer. Uh, we've just done shaders. Again, you will have to just be rebooting every time you turn this on and off. For async, async presentation, we want that on. I forgot to turn that one on before, so that had to reboot. Use a new VSync. We want that on. Resolution factor. We just set that to 1 for now. I know a lot of people online would just start setting the resolution factor to like 2, 4, 5, 10 straight away. What that does is it produces a better looking image, which, which can you know help also eliminate the jagged stare effect that you get around objects, especially round objects which you usually would use something like anti-aliasing for that. But the problem is it can reduce performance naturally. Anything that makes it look good will re reduce performance, generally speaking. So I always recommend set resolution factor to one. Try the games that you want to play. If they work great, no problems. Increase it a bit, increase it. And, and again, it's game specific. It's also hardware spe specific. I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You might have an iPhone 13 or 14, or you might have an iPad there's different you know obviously you know powers there like the hardware is different the game that you play will also vary as well you might get something like some sort of light 2d game versus a heavy 3d game so change the resolution factor from one once you know it's working and you know go from there so that's my recommendation next textures if we open that you want to do texture filter to none texture sampling you want game controlled use custom textures off Preload textures, we want that off. Async custom loading to on. 
Now in layout, the layout option, you can choose this. This is really just more personal preference. This is how we will basically, you know, look the screens. I'm going to do default. You can single screen, which is one. Large screen was one. The main one, bigger and smaller one. Screen side by side. Uh, you know, there's all sorts of stuff. Some people love the hybrid one, but again, I let you decide which one you prefer on this. But I'm going to leave it as default. And you can do use custom layout. I've set that to off, but you can change some of the settings and you can use a custom layout if you don't like the built-in layouts. And now that we've done renderer, audio, you want to leave this as is. The audio emulation, just leave it as HLE. And output device should be automatic. Make sure it is not set to null. That's the main thing. And input device, again, should be automatic. And you can leave that as it is. And that's it. Those are the best settings to get the best performance out of your 3DF emulator on your iOS device, aka Folium. And if I launch up the game, Sometimes I do wish I just had a controller connected up to it. I'm just going to pause it. Uh, I'll just stop and exit actually. As you can see, the game runs pretty darn well. So that's the best settings for Folium. If you have any questions or there's other Folium emulator videos you would like to see or any other iOS emulation videos, let me know down in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.